Hello, my name is Brian Gomez, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a central line dressing change. So first, I'm going to verify the physician's orders, make sure he uh, asked for a dressing change or ordered that. And he did, so I'm going to go ahead and gather my equipment. I have my uh, central line tray here, a ma mask for my patient, as well as some regular clean gloves. So I enter the room, wash my hands, I'm going to identify myself to the patient and identify the patient, also making sure that this table is locked and secure. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can I verify your first and last name and your date of birth? And he tell, I look at his wristband and confirm. Thank you, Mr. Alvarez. So today we're going to actually be uh, changing the dressing for your sterile, for your central line. Okay, do you have any questions? He says no, so I'll say okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put the mask onto my patient. Actually, before that, just so he's not waiting too long, what I'm going to do actually is open this first so I can have my mask as well ready. You can use this almost as like a, a receptacle for garbage as well if you don't have a waste can near you. I'm just gonna open this. I wanna be careful not to overexpose this. This is my sterile field for later down the line. Here, here's my mask, here's the patient's mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise the table to my working height. Arm rail or the side rail. I'm gonna go ahead and put on his mask. And again, if there was no mask available, I would just turn. I'd ask him to turn his head away from where the central, uh, the central line is inserted. Excuse me, sorry, Mr. Alvarez. There you go. Comfortable? Okay, good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mask. Make sure to pinch my nose. Up here, making sure it's pinched also on the, on the patient as well. I'm gonna go ahead and don my regular gloves. Now I'm gonna go ahead and also take a look at the central line and also assess it as well. So my clean gloves are on. Okay, Mr. Roberts, I'm gonna go ahead and drape you slightly. I'm just gonna take a look at that central line, okay? So I'm gonna go here, take a look. And here you can see the, 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 bit, the dressing here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to take any, any note of it. There's any blood or anything or any, any sort of swellness or swelling or redness, but I'm also going to remove this and take a look. So when you're removing this, you want to make sure you hold the skin taut or as taut as possible as well as securing the line here. So doesn't it pull? Trying to hold the skin as taut as possible, trying to get less painful for the patient. Again, when I get closer again, you want to secure the line. Okay, I'm going to look at the insertion site of the central line. Go ahead and throw this away. Just make, make sure I make any mental notes of any redness, swelling, drainage, as well as any crepitus. You want to make sure there's no air around here. Everything is good. So I'm going to go ahead and take off these gloves. I'm going to set up my sterile field now. As well as don my sterile gloves afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Opening away from me and also touching only the blue. Now I'm going to go ahead and don my sterile gloves. It's over here. It's over here. So it keeps it above my waist as well. Put my down hand first. I'm going to go ahead and put my hand in there. And then I can touch the inside of this glove with my other hand. On there. And then I reach inside here and I can just go ahead and pull this down, pull this down as well, touching only the outside of the glove because it's sterile. Now this is sterile. I'm going to go ahead and just move this out of the way. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and now clean the wound. I'm gonna use the alcohol swabs here. You know, when I'm doing this, I also want to make sure that I'm designating which is the clean hand, and, uh, clean hand and dirty hand. So my left will be the dirty hand and my right will be the clean hand. So I'm going to pull out the swab, transfer here, cleaning always in to out. So first I'm going to go around in here, toss, clean hand to dirty hand. Clean hand, dirty hand, and now we'll toss that there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the. Uh, excuse me, make sure I use my clean hand. Let that dry. Well, it doesn't have to dry right away because I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with the chloro prep. So again, this is dirty hand, so I don't want to be touching that. The release mechanism here, and you squeeze them, and then you're gonna go ahead again. You're gonna go from in to out. So you can go in here, and I, there, I, for me personally, I'm going to keep one side kind of not touching anything because I'm going to use that to clean the lines later. So I'm going to go around here, and then towards the outside as well, and then one more around the most exterior border of the circle. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this line here, and I'm going to go ahead, and then that side was towards my index finger was the side I didn't touch on the wound. So I'm going to clean up here, so clean up here. And that's there. So I'm going to let that dry for a couple of seconds. This is dirty now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove these gloves. For the values purposes, I don't have another one, but in reality, I would then put on new gloves, because uh, sterile gloves, because I'm going to put on the uh, bandage now, or the dressing now. So I'm going to go ahead and these are sterile gloves. Also, make sure you're checking with your patient every so often. Make sure he's doing okay. Doing okay, Mr. Alvarez? He says he's okay. So now this is the dressing. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. and place this over and when I place this over I want to make sure that I'm keeping the insertion site in this clear section and I want to show, make sure that I'm also push, pressing out any air bubbles as well and you can go around the borders as well here and then I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape here and also there's another tape that I'm going to use after I remove this border to then secure the lines as well. Okay, so I'm removing the tape here. That part of the paper. I want to make sure also that I'm securing the, the borders of the dressing as well. There's another piece of tape here that I can use to secure the line. Let's see that is secure there. There's all that paper there, so I'm going to tape right here as well. And then since this is covered already, I actually can now I can actually now remove my gloves. You can leave them on if you like. I'm going to label, there's a piece of tape here that has labeling on it. I'm going to put my initials, the date and a time on here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the dressing as well. And I want to make sure that I'm putting it not on top of the insertion site because I because I want to make sure you can, that's visible at all times. So maybe somewhere along here, but not directly on the skin as well. Doing okay still, Mr. Alvarez? He reports yes. I'm going to go ahead and drape them here. Comfortable. For safety, I'm going to go ahead and lift and I'm just going to go ahead and remove his mask. Okay. And I'm going to remove my mask. I'm going to go ahead and lower the bed to the lowest setting for safety again. I'm also going to leave a call bell for him as well, right over here. Mr. Alvarez, if you need anything, please feel free to give me a buzz. I'll be right back then. Uh, but yeah, don't hesitate to call, okay? So then I'm going to leave the room. Well, before I leave the room, I'm going to go ahead and gather my equipment here. I want to make sure I leave the room in the condition I left it, or and entered it, excuse me. So it's away, I'm going to leave the room, I'm going to wash my hands as well, I'm going to document. And when I document, I want to make sure that I noted the insertion side of the central line, as well as any swelling, redness, the color, any crepitus around the, around the section, and that I utilize the, uh, excuse me, that I utilize the sterile technique for the central line dressing change. And that is how you perform a central line dressing change.